So I, I do f- strongly feel that students in many cases are uh, full of enthusiasm, full of optimism, full of idealism, full of passion, um, and often don't have any place to go with that. Um, they have ideas, they have visions for themselves, they have um, desires and wants and needs, and beyond the caring ear of a concerned adult, they often don't know how to make those things reality. for high school students and principals and teachers and community members to get together and to discuss issues that they see in their communities as well as the strengths and assets of their communities and how they can empower themselves to have a voice. Now to be able to address those issues, obviously the public has to have some input on sort of what are some key solutions, right? So who knows best how to address those issues? Is it decision makers? This morning, students were given a safe place in which they were able to brainstorm and think about community assets here in Edgecombe County. I know that there are lots of organizations within the community, within schools, and within even other uh, surrounding towns around Tarboro that do create solutions based on strengths, but there's an incredible amount of community members that don't know how to get involved in those groups. Um, and we did a yes, no, maybe activity where we posed different questions to the group and students moved um, based on the question, that what their answer would be, a yes or a no or a maybe. And then we had some students explain their opinion for each question. They never ask us how we feel about it. Mm-hmm. So it's a policy that impacts young people. You guys are asked sort of what your thoughts and feelings are about that policy. Yes. So because of boot camp, I think it's critical that students understand that their voice is what matters. Even if they do take our positions on certain policies, they think that we're just kids and we're immature, so we don't know what we're talking about. In the second session, um, Nate did a deep dive into civics, and we learned a little bit about the role of the legislator in North Carolina, as well as who represents um, our communities in North Carolina. What do you think about your local government and leaders? 64% 64% not sure. Do you know Edgecombe County elected representatives are from the NC House and NC Senate? 77% of you said no. It's politics, so they politic and they play those kinds of games. And of course, me and all my friends can say, we're going to vote this way, and everybody's going to play with us. So those who have experience, they've been doing it a long time, they have a lot of influence mm-hmm. um, over those who do not. But we're bringing in new people, that's the change that sometimes they need because they have a wider perspective. After that, we did some breakout sessions, and we had one breakout session on health in Edgecombe County. All the things you hear people talk about is truly out of control. So one thing that we try to do is we try to make sure that we have the processes in place to make sure we take care of chronic disease. OIC is very focused on taking care of its community, not its patients. What do I mean by that? We want to make sure that we improve the health of all of Edgecombe and Nash County. And our second breakout session was on education policy, both in North Carolina and in Edgecombe County. Think about that. There's no federal constitutional right to education in our country. Is that surprising? You know that. I'm really touched by watching three community members come together and collaborate on a lunch. Uh, I know Zuru Bastello from On the Square and her personal hero, Reverend Joyner. During Lunch in the Gathering for Good, students were talking amongst each other in a safe place to share what they thought were issues that needed to be rebranded here in Eastern North Carolina, here in Tarboro, here in Edgecombe. <laughs> Chase her down. Brandon, we do get to, we have to look at the facts of what is. You know, is there data to back up that the crime rate or the, the, the STD rate or education or things are not good or where we would like for them to be? And then if it is, okay, how do we address that? We talk about issues like we've been talking about today, 
we talk about it and we complain about it, but we don't do anything. So we have to put it into action. Um, success for us means that students um, have a sense of self-efficacy, that they know how to think, to write, to read, to speak. They have uh, critical thinking skills and they can communicate. They know how to collaborate. Ultimately, what we want is for our students to graduate ready for the opportunities in front of them. And experiences like the policy boot camp um, help to round out the, the education the kids get, um, that our scholars receive, and uh, to develop a sense of, um, as I said earlier, self-efficacy about their role in the world and their readiness for the challenges that they'll encounter.